great mayor of the city, Mr. Rex Harden, come up and lead us off. Thank you, sir. Well, that was great. Thank you very much. Mark, appreciate that intro. And welcome, everyone, to another wonderful day in the city of Pompano Beach, Florida's warmest welcome. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's indeed. I mean, we, we've been having these, uh, these events fast and furious. Um, Commissioner Moss and I were just talking about that. But, they, you know, it's kind of the reasoning behind that is the GO bond was passed. And at that point in time, the residents, they gave us the green light. Green, get it? Go bottom of the green light. They gave us the green light to move forward, and we did. We moved forward as a team together to execute on what the residents of this city had asked for and voted for. And, and, and we are delivering once again with this wonderful facility, these wonderful flat fields. Um, it's, it's, it's truly gratifying. And I, 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 you know, I was, I was speaking, I'll introduce him in just a second. I was speaking with Lamar just a few minutes ago about how this all started back before before it was this when it was just the Elks Lodge and and uh, we we took uh, some mighty hits from some folks to to move forward and actually purchase this property but uh, we 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 persevered we took the hits and moved forward and said no for the vision for the future of our city we knew it was important and sure enough the residents they supported us all along and and here we are today so. Before I go any further, I'd like to introduce just a few folks that I work with every single day to make this city the best it can possibly be. Um, it's our, uh, the city commission, and we got with us here today, we've got uh, Vice Mayor Andrew McGee from District 1. From District 3, we've got the newest city commissioner, who's, this is actually in District 3. We've got uh, Commissioner Allison Fournier. And uh, finally, we've got with us from District 5, Commissioner Barry Moss. Commissioner Perkins, unfortunately, couldn't be here with, with us today, but she's here in spirit, I'm sure. Um, but also, as I alluded to earlier, we are honored to have uh, with us today the mayor of the county of Broward, Mr. Lamar Fisher. Of course, Lamar, Lamar taught me everything I know. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Now, got to put the glasses on, because now I've got to follow some notes. Let's see. Got some folks to thank and some things to uh, point out. Let's see. Um, well, as I already said, Youth Sports Complex is yet another completed general obligation bond project. I just want to point out our city has indeed lived up to the promise of spending the GO money wisely and, you know, on budget, on budget, what we promised, not on budget perhaps. I know the city manager, which also I'd like to recognize our city manager, Greg Harris and his staff is here with us today. You know, the City Commission, we can have all the great ideas in the world and, and, and come up with fantastic policies, but unless we got um, a Cracker Jack city management staff, nothing happens in the city. And, and we have been very fortunate for a number of years to have excellent management staff. So thank you again, Mr. Harrison, for all you do, and your staff, which is here with us today. Um, but yeah, so residents of Pompano Beach, they voiced their desire for rectangular fields many, many years ago. There has been a, a, a burning desire for more flat fields for generations, really, um, as long as I can remember as a city commissioner, and that goes back to 1998. Um, the youth sports complex includes a new 4,000 square foot facility, beautiful facility, with concession area, office space, and restaurant restrooms. The park features four brand new rectangular fields for soccer, lacrosse, and flag football. The two larger fields on the east half of the park feature state-of-the-art sports lighting and first-class artificial turf. The two smaller fields feature Bermuda grass and were designed for younger children. Okay, now we've got some folks who actually really deserve a lot of, a lot of praise because, uh, you know, it's like I said, the, the City Commission, we come up with the policies. Um, we, we want to execute for the residents. The city management staff, they, they're the ones that actually put it all together. But the pe people that really made this happen are the people that actually built it. And, that, and that's some of the folks I'm going to point out now. We've got Schiff Construction is with us here. We've got Justin and Melissa Schiff, tremendous supporters of the city. And they do a great job for the city of Pompano Beach. And they're also city of Pompano Beach residents. Thank you all so much for what you do. Uh, we've got WSD Contracting. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, the next, the next name, I mean, it's, it's almost synonymous with Pompano Beach and Broward County, and that is the Keith team. Um, yes. Yeah, going back to the days of Bill Keith, um, you know, and Bill Keith and, and followed by the, by, by, in the memory of Bill Keith and executed now by, of course, his daughter and, and, uh, and grand, grandkids. Um, but they are, are truly 
forces in Broward County have shaped our county and our city in immeasurable ways. And thank you for all you do. Especially, I'd like to point out Abby Sutton, who really, really worked hard on this project. Thank you so much. We've got Brooks and Scarpa, Jeff Huber, architect. All right, there we go, fantastic. Jason Frock from Musco Sports Lighting. All right. Chris Wedge from Field Turf. Thank you for all that. Um, and then, of course, uh, as I mentioned, the city management staff, but uh, it, it's not just city management staff, it's the folks that work underneath that office. And we've got uh, Fernand Tony, our Geo Bond Director. Thank you. Thank you, Fernand. I know, I know you, you have been a busy, a busy man for the past, uh, past few years, yes. And of course, um, somebody who's been with us almost from the start, well, from the start with the geo bond process and before in the planning stages. <clears throat> and, that, and that's our, our own Horatio Danovich. Horatio, yes. As a footnote, this state-of-the-art facility is working double duty as it provides parking support for the Sam McDougall House right across the street in Centennial Park. And next Wednesday, we're going to be celebrating that ribbon cutting. So mark your calendars for next Wednesday also. So, like I said, this is a tremendous facility for the residents of our city, for visitors of our city. It can host, you know, immeasurable sports uh, sports teams and, and things of that nature. It's been needed for years, and thank you for the support of the residents who really allowed this to happen and really set Pompano Beach apart. And then thank you, Mayor, for being here uh, to represent the county and, of course, the, your own city. I thank you for that. So with that, I'm going to call up the district commissioner who represents the area we're sitting in. That's our newest commissioner, Allison Fournier, District 3. Come on up, Allison. Thank you. I, I didn't bring a stool this time. I should have. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It is great to be here today. I know I'm very excited and I want to welcome all of you to another fabulous ribbon cutting in District 3. Uh, this property was purchased six years ago and it has been quite a journey to get to this point, but we are finally here today cutting the ribbon and opening this fabulous new park. So I want to thank everyone who has been involved in that. Um, many of our parks have undergone renovations under the geo bond, but this one is a little bit different to me. This is a brand new 10 acre park. Take a look around at this. It is a huge green space that we've been able to add to our city. And it is not often that we can accomplish something like that. So most people know that I will talk about my kids whenever possible. So you're going to have to bear with me. I can't help myself. This summer, I was on a boat with a bunch of seven-year-old boys, and they were jumping off the boat into the ocean, and they were doing all these strange things like crossing their arms and this, and it was, uh, what are you boys doing? And they were going, the Mbappe, the Ronaldo, the Messi. When I was a kid, we did cannonballs off into pools, but the kids right now are absolutely soccer obsessed in South Florida. So we have impeccable timing with this facility. We are ready to meet the growing demand for soccer right now in Broward County. Thank you. As a parent, I also know that it's more important now than ever to have fields and places like this between devices, cell phones, video games, virtual reality, social media, TVs everywhere. We have a struggle as parents to get the kids outside. But these are the fields where real bonds will be formed. This is where children will exercise, learn sportsmanship. They will compete, they will win, they will lose, they will celebrate, and they will shed tears. I have seen it after soccer games. They will cry here, but this is where they will create memories and build real friendships. It is a real gift to our youth. Thank you. I also want to thank the residents who paid for this and patiently waited for it because it has taken some time. I want to thank Ship Construction, the Geobond staff, the City Management staff, and I always want to thank Parks and Rec for all of their frontline work with our children, and they are already ensuring that this facility is very busy. I have been out here most nights in the last couple of weeks. We need the rain to hold off, but it, we are ready to play some soccer, lacrosse, 
flag football. The city has a great asset here. So thank you, everyone. And with that, I'm going to ask Mark Boudreau to come back up. I think we have the same speechwriter. So today, another remarkable day as we celebrate the grand opening of our new youth sports complex. It's a true testament to the power of collaboration, dedication, and the unwavering commitment to building a brighter future for our youth. Sports have always played a pivotal role in shaping the character of our younger generation. They teach us some valuable life lessons such as teamwork, discipline, perseverance, and the importance of hard work. This complex represents not just a physical space, but a promise to our young athletes. Promise of opportunity, growth, and excellence in a safe and supportive environment. With the combination of synthetic and natural grass fields, we're providing our youth with the best facilities to nurture their passion for sports. In an era, era where distractions are abundant and outdoor activities, activities are often overshadowed by digital pastimes, we're providing an outlet that encourages physical fitness and healthy competition. Our youth sports complex is an investment in the health, well-being, and future success of our community. It's facilities like this that help us fight the national childhood obesity epidemic and encourages our kids to pursue active lifestyles. So let's encourage our young athletes to dream big, work hard, and never give up, and may this complex be a place where not they not only develop their athletic skills, but build character and friendships that will last a lifetime. So, with that, let's cut the ribbon. Ready?